Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala barakatuh. Today we're going to continue how we are going to regenerate the human psyche in the 21st century and the 22nd century based on, not on conflict of our sexual desire, but based on learning. And in Islam, we have this theory of learning and the developmental process from the lower level to the higher level to the stage of mutma'innah. Okay. But what is important is for us to understand that the damage done by Freudian psychology is so terrible. And if you look at this idea of oral stage, anal stage, phallic stage, latent stage, and natal stage, I'm going to give you a, a video, another video for you to see. You can see that it is gross. It is not actually intellectual. It has no basis. It's just some speculation by this man who finally committed suicide. Remember, when he grew old, he had cancer and then he killed himself by taking an overdose of heroin. So what kind of scholar, what kind of teacher are they bringing to this world? It is the world of hedonistic life based on desire of the animals. All right? And you can see this very clearly in his theory. All right? Freud said that most of people's personality forms during their early childhood years. He outlined a series of psychosexual stages that children pass through as the pleasure-seeking id energy filters down to the erogenous zones, the pleasure-sensitive areas of the body. They are the oral stage, the anal stage, the phallic stage, the latency stage, and the genital stage. From birth to approximately 18 months, Kids are in the oral stage, and they get most of their pleasure from sucking, biting, and chewing. During this stage, they are still totally dependent on mom. The next one is the anal stage. Kids are into that from 18 months to three years old. During the anal stage, children gain a sense of control over the environment as their mothers try to toilet train them. It's called the anal stage because pleasure comes from using their bladder and sphincter muscles. They know that when they use these muscles, they can control part of their environment, and they are no longer totally dependent on mom. I'd just like to say that we, the Sphincter family, really resent your using our name in your video. And, and we plan to register a formal complaint. You better get yourselves a lawyer. Yeah! Yeah! From about three to six years, during the phallic stage, pleasurable feelings are mostly associated with the genitals. Freud believed that kids in this stage feel sexually attracted to their opposite sex parent and jealous and rivalrous of their same sex parent. Come over, Daddy. I want to be next to Mommy. <laughs> Look, son, this is a monument to the father of our country. Sometimes an obelisk is... Only an obelisk. Hmm? The complex state of affairs that goes along with the phallic stage is known as the Oedipus complex for boys. During the phallic stage, boys develop sexual desires for mom and murderous feelings for poor dad. Boys feel guilty for wanting to off dad and they're afraid he might want to retaliate so boys develop castration anxiety. Some psychoanalysts think there's a similar situation called an Electra complex for girls. During their phallic stage, Girls develop penis envy, feeling that the penis is the superior sex organ. Because of penis envy, girls develop a desire for dad, and they want to get mom out of the picture. Luckily, humans get a break from these problems between the ages of six and puberty, during the latency stage. From the ages of six or seven to 11 or 12 comes the latency stage. This is when children's sexual desires go dormant for a while, and those wacky id energies cool down. In the latency stage, girls usually hang out with other girls, and boys usually hang out with other boys. Daddy, daddy, I want to be just like you. So mommy will marry me when I grow up. From puberty on is the genital stage, which is all about relating to others in a sexually mature way. There's strong sexual attraction to others with lots of hormones pumping through the bloodstream to fuel the sex drive. As you might expect, Pleasure comes from the genitals. At any point during development, a kid can become fixated on the pleasures that go along with a particular stage. Fixation comes as a result of either getting too much or too little of the pleasure during that stage. 
For example, someone fixated on the oral stage might be a chain smoker as an adult. Someone fixated on the anal stage might be real messy and disorganized, a condition known as anal expulsive. Or they might be anal retentive, which is uptight and controlling. But when the ego's control over the id is threatened and the id beast goes wild, we get pretty anxious. So we protect ourselves with the... So Alhamdulillah, we can see how this whole concept of human nature, human psyche, degenerate in the 20th century. Yeah? Remember, this theory of human personality, psychoanalysis and psychosocial, is just his own speculation based on the nature of humanist, not humanistic, animalistic existence of human beings. So our psyche is just expression of our desire, expression of our sexual requirement, and it's nothing more than that. So today we can make a joke, just like in the video you can see, people are laughing about it. But imagine, this was the dominant theory of human personality from the 1900 to the early 50s. So what a joke. But joke aside, it has impacted the degeneration of our society today. Because from then on, you have other theories personality theories which I will discuss and then we'll move on to how we can regenerate humanity through the program of Islamic psychology and how we develop our own personality theory based on revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how we can live and achieve peace, happiness and success in this world and the hereafter inshallah.